chapter 3, episode 5 is about comparing densities, specific gravity. Here we have two different substances with different densities. This one is 0 0.997 grams per ml. This one is water. And this one has a density of 2.70 grams per ml. Now what do you think will happen to this object if we place this one on water? Will it stay floating or will this object sink under water? So this will sink under the water because this one is denser compared to the water. Now to compare the densities of two different substances, we can use the specific gravity is equal to the density of the substance over the density of a reference. In most cases, a reference will be water. But again, not all times a reference is water, but here in most cases, and on this case, a reference is water. So we can use this equation. Now, on this case, uh, let's solve the specific gravity of the object. Again, that is the density of the object. That is 2.70 grams per ml over the density of our reference. Again, our reference here is the, uh, that of water. We have 0 0.997 grams per ml. And if you divide this one, 2.70 divided by 0 0.997, we have 2.71. So that is the specific gravity for this object. How about this one? Here we have an object with a density of 0.50 grams per ml. Let's say we place this one on water. What do you think will happen to the object? So since this one is less denser compared to the water, it will float above the water. Let's compute the specific gravity of the object. Again, its density is equal to 0 0.50 grams per ml over of water we have 0 0.997 grams per ml if you divide this we have 0 0.90 0 0.90 as you observe here by the way so if the specific gravity is greater than 1 it will sink under the water and then if the specific gravity is less than 1 it will float above the water and on this case Sorry, this is supposed to be 0 0.50. Sorry, this is 0 0.50. 0 0.50. Now, we can also interpret this one. So this means that 50%, okay, 50% of this uh, object will be submerged under the water. So 50% submerged, 50% will be above the surface of the water. Okay, so again here... Uh, when the specific gravity of the object is less than 1, it will uh, float above the water. And then if its specific gravity is greater than 1, it will sink under the water. Then it's equal to 1. Again, when it's equal to 1, uh, this means that the specific gravity or that the density of the object is equal to the density of the substance. So this means they are of equal densities. So again, uh, this means that uh, this will not sink and it will also not be floating above the water. So, so it will stay here floating on the, on the part of the water. Now let's uh, use this in interpreting the iceberg. So here we have the densities of an iceberg is 0.92 grams per cubic centimeter and that of seawater is 1.025 grams per cubic centimeter, what percent of an iceberg is submerged underwater? Again, here we have two different substances. This one is an iceberg, and then uh, it's floating on a seawater. So this one has a different density because this one is not pure water. So again, yung 0 0.997, 0 0.997, that's for pure water. Here it's uh, water with salt and other minerals. Again, for this problem, we can use the specific gravity. We can use the specific gravity. Specific gravity is equal to the density of the substance. Again, that's the iceberg here. We have 0 0.92, 0 0.92 grams per cubic centimeter over the density of our reference. So in this case, our reference is the seawater. So that is 1.025 grams per cubic centimeter. And if you solve this one is equal to 0 0.90, 0 
Now, this one mean, uh, this number means that it will float above the water, but here, uh, also from this number, we can say that 90%, 90% of the iceberg will be submerged and only 10% will be above the surface of the water. So that's what we see here. So again, 90% of the 90% of the iceberg will be underwater and then only 10% is above the water. Again, as to clarify, again, our uh, it's not always water. Uh, this can change depending on the given substances on the problem.